What instantly makes this a must-visit place during your trip to Jamaica is that it's not just a single waterfall in a gorgeous natural setting. You can count 12 waterfalls as you hike along a hidden trail through the rainforest. The pictures promoting the place do it no justice, because it is impossible to take one dramatic shot to give the idea of how incredible the place truly is. This is the first video that will show things other videos won't tell you, so you can see all parts of the blue hole that you never knew existed. I have to warn you, Ivory Blue Hall was the place that made me fall in love with Jamaica during my very first visit seven years ago. And I've been living on the island since then. I don't want to set your expectations too high, but Ivory Blue Hall can get you addicted to Jamaica. So be careful, I guess. Before we go to the waterfalls, let's make it very clear about the name Blue Hall, and you will see now why it's really important. You see, the name Blue Hall is used for a lot of places in Jamaica, which can make it very confusing for both tourists and locals alike. Here are a few honorable mentions. This place here is often referred to as Blue Hall, while in reality it is called Blue Lagoon, and it is located close to Port Antonio in Portland, the eastern part of Jamaica. Sometimes I hear tourists calling this place as Blue Hall, while it is Luminous Lagoon or Glistening Waters. It is located close to Falmouth in Trelawney Parish, and I already have a video about this incredible phenomena, so please check it out. Now, if we go to western part of Jamaica, close to Negril, we will find yet another Blue Hall. This time, it's called Blue Hall Mineral Spring, which is not only blue, but is actually a hole in the ground, literally. So, I guess this corresponds to the name fully. As a part of Jamaica Video Guide, today we are visiting the place located close to Ocho Rios and is often referred to as Blue Hall, Irie Blue Hall or Blue Hall Ocho Rios. And it goes further than that. It is also known as Island Gully Falls and Secret Falls because until 2013, hardly anyone knew about it. That's right. All of this means exactly the same place. And yes, there have been plenty of cases when people booked multiple excursions thinking they're different only to find out, oops, we've already been here. That's why it's important. And please keep this in mind to avoid the confusion. Now let's go and see why this particular attraction is a must visit place during your trip to Jamaica. This natural attraction consists of 12 sets of waterfalls and even more lagoons stretched out along White River at the border of St. Anne and St. Mary parishes. The site can be divided into several parts, and here is a map. The best way to explore the falls and get the most of your trip is to start with one of the hiking trails. There are two of them, one on each side of the river. The St. Mary Trail is the longest and takes you all the way from north to south. The St. Anne Trail is shorter, but just as spectacular. The most northern part of the setting that is open to visitors is Ridge Farm Lagoon. It has a rope swing and a few small waterfalls, making the setting very quiet, peaceful and relaxing. The next one is Eco Lagoon, again with a rope swing and a few small waterfalls. It also has a little rabbit hole where you can jump and a few ducks splashing around in the water. Then there is the Ring of Falls, that is one of the most beautiful locations. You can easily recognize it from many photos with the flags at the background. This part offers a rope swing and slightly bigger waterfalls for more adventurous visitors, as well as few hiding spots behind the falls. Both trails will then lead you through dense rainforest with more small waterfalls to see before you reach the Blue Hole Shack. This is where you can make a pit stop to jump off very small cliffs, get some refreshments and take a few photos before heading to the big fall. How are you doing? Good man, how are you doing? I'm 
Who makes the wooden piece? A guy from Portland. Don't oh, you get it. Name. You get it all from Portland. These yes, pieces. Wow. And this from a lady. Uh -huh. um, she's from Clarendon, so she made these. I buy these from her. Her name is Sharon. So the, play, the, the items you have are from all over Jamaica? All over Jamaica. These are really nice. Yeah. How much do you charge for them? Just uh, quote me some prices. Like $10 for the pipe, $5 for the turtles. Uh huh. Yeah. And your uh, the for the necklace. Uh -huh. It depends. Mm -hmm. Depends on the. Yeah, it depends yeah. on the material. All right. How's the tourism? Picking up or slow still? It's still slow, but hopefully. Fingers crossed. We're getting more guests coming from June, so hopefully. You know, usually June is low season, yeah, but no, this no. year, hopefully, it's gonna go up. Yeah, man. Thank you. What's your name? I'm B. B? Yes. All right, nice to meet you. This is where the main action usually happens, with cliff jumping from different locations at different heights to match all tastes, including the epic jump from the waterfall itself. There is also a little cave hidden in the fall which can be explored. Some might think that this is the most exciting part of the tour, but wait until you get to the Cascades. These are so stunning that not a single camera can capture what it truly feels like to be there when the light goes through thick forest and lands on moss-covered rocks. Cascades feature several perfectly sized waterfalls to give you a natural massage and this is also the place for more of that cliff jumping action. At the end of the Cascades you will find a natural pool with another relatively big waterfall at the background. I call it the top fall. Most visitors don't come as far and focus on all the activities at other parts of Cascades, leaving Topfall a perfect place not only to enjoy swimming, but also for a romantic photo shoot with a significant other. As you can see, this magical place can easily become a highlight of your adventure, but it is important to be aware of some negative sides too, and yes, there are surprisingly a few. The water in the river and waterfalls is cold, and I personally see it as a good thing, because it's very refreshing in warm tropical climate, especially after a hike and activities. But I've also seen people who got surprised and uncomfortable. Keep in mind, once you start swimming though, you get used to the water temperature very fast. You don't have to be fit to do any of the activities, but this place might not be perfect for you if you are afraid of water or if you are afraid of swimming even in a life jacket. If you have any health issues that make walking difficult, a 10-minute hike or long staircase can obviously be a challenge. However, you can still come and enjoy the beautiful rainforest and shallow waters at the northern parts of the attraction, while other family members can hike further south and do the activities there. As with any places in the wild involving action, safety has to be taken seriously. Rocks can be slippery at some parts, so bring water shoes with you or buy them at the start of your adventure. While on the tour, please also be aware that you might be offered photography services. Make sure you agree on the price first so you don't feel like someone is scamming you. A quality photo shoot at this tricky location is a lot of work and you're looking around 150 US dollars for up to 200 photos. And the last and most important thing to mention is that most likely you will not be able to visit all lagoons and waterfalls during one trip, because different parts are run by different companies. Each of them have their own unique pros and cons, and tour guides are limited by their management as to where exactly they can take you. So let me show you how to choose the best Blue Hole experience that would suit your needs the most. <laughs> 
For many years, Irie Blue Hall has been the best kept secret attraction in Jamaica, not known to either tourists or locals. But around 2015, the Blue Hall began rapidly growing in popularity, and from a modest, off the beaten path adventure hidden in the rainforest, it has turned into one of the most popular sites in all of Jamaica. Currently, there are five companies that you can choose from at Irie Blue Hall. All companies have the same entrance fees of 20 US dollars per adult or 1000 Jamaican dollars if you're a local. All of them have a safe parking area available if you are coming with a rented car. Once you pay the entrance fees, you will have an access to their facilities, which include changing rooms, bathrooms and lockers. And all of these companies provide you with a free guide who will take you through the waterfalls. If you enjoy the tour, please don't forget to give some tips to the guide from 10 US dollars or more depending on the size of your group and how much you like the work the guide did. It is important to note that no matter what company you choose, all of them will take you to the big waterfall and the cascades, so you will definitely see all the parts from the Blue Hole Shack and further south. Now, what are the differences then? The first company registered in 2015 was Island Gully Falls. It is still in operation and their entrance can be found at the top of Thatch Hill Road. If you are booking your Blue Hole experience as a part of a popular combo package with Chaka, this is exactly where you'll be taken. The weak point of this tour is that they don't have an access to any hiking trails or any unique lagoons with extra waterfalls so you will miss out on like 60% of the attraction. But their strong side is, maybe that's exactly what you need. For visitors who don't want to spend their time on any hiking and instead want to get to the big waterfall as soon as possible, Island Gully Falls are the ones to go for. The second company was established in the middle of Thatch Hill Road around 2015 as well and goes by the name Original Blue Hole and this is their entrance. These guys take you on the tour not only to the big fall and cascades, but also their unique feature is the ring of falls and one of the hiking trails. However, because it gives you way more things to experience for the same amount of money, the original Blue Hole became extremely popular, which also means more visitors were complaining about slippery trail, twisted ankles and accidents with rope swings. As a result, the company was obliged to build all these concrete structures to fight the slippery surfaces, which sacrificed a large part of the rustic feel and beautiful nature in the name of safety. When booking here, you will not see the two lagoons and falls to the north from it. But if you want a balanced experience with the Ring of Falls and a short hike, this option can be a perfect fit. The next two companies along Thatch Hill Road are Nature Blue Hall Eco Attraction and Bridge Farm Blue River Tours. The downside of visiting either of these locations is that although you have an access to the big waterfall and cascades again, you are missing out on other parts of the attraction, like the Ring of Falls. You also have to take a longer hike to reach the big waterfalls, which can be a highlight of a journey for some, but not suitable for others. Keep in mind, there are also a few flights of stairs to climb. These are for Bridge Farm and these are for Eco. But now let's see the unique things each of these companies got to offer. Both of their entrances can be found once you pass the bridge over the big water pipe. Nice to meet you guys. This is nice. Nick at the Nature, Nature Blue Eco Attraction. Okay, okay so sir. follow me and we're going to go over and get situated. Can we get through there? Yes, I'm going to take you and make sure. All right, it's okay. the second entrance on the river to really like get to a certain level uh -huh. where the second guys on the river to really start making big moves and big changes you know? oh, okay and like other companies the uniqueness of these tours is that they have their own gorgeous tropical garden 
one calm lagoon each, eco and bridge farm respectively, and both of them give a rustic feel to the experience, with longer hike along St. Mary Trail. So like, when you like, you sit, and then as soon as you let go, the water takes you to a... Ooh. Ah, that's cool! Oh yeah. So this is what we started from. This used to be our main sign. So this is how far we've grown and how far we've come from. This is a wonderful playground. Beautiful. And that's where we have the birds and stuff. Your feature is the ducks. <laughs> the ducks were so absolutely unexpected. It's beautiful. You should keep their population. Welcome to Bridge from Blue Attraction Tour Limited. My name is Neil. I'm the tour guide for Bridge from Blue. This place, as you can see, is Mother Nature. Everything that you see here is natural. We have a hog garden. We have the beautiful waterfalls down here with the, along with the jacuzzi, the rope swing, and much more to see. It's not just here. It's a triple tour you get in one package when you come to the Bridge from Blue. So down there, as you see, in front of me, that's our rope swing. For the kids, for your family, when you come, if they don't want to do the rope swing, they can also walk down into the water. This is a mulberry tree. This fruit, they use it to make wine. Okay. Yeah. Oh, what do you call it? Mulberry? Yeah. Wow, you know, in my home country, we're from Ukraine originally. We have mulberry all over the place. And it's the first time I see it in Jamaica. Interesting. The extra unique feature for Bridge Farm is the farm itself, where you can see how Jamaican vegetables are grown by a local family. Hi, my name is Christopher Hilton. Well, we also do a little organic farming. If you look over here, we got some tomatoes right here. I cover this with grass. Why? Because um, it was so hot. <gasps> and it I, dries. I, yeah, and so I have to keep um, some moisture in the soil. So I have to put some grass down so when it's at the top, it's moist underneath the bottom. So that keeps the plant looking healthy and you don't have to do as much water. Okay, I never knew that. Yeah. Brilliant. You're doing some great work here now with the plants. What's your name? Rokoji, do you live in the area? You're from the community here? I live here. Oh, fantastic. Respect, man, yes. Mm -hmm. Most people, when they come, they do not want to start here. They want to go to the falls first. They want to see the falls and then they come back here to chill and relax. So it's actually an eight to 10 minutes hike to the big waterfalls up top. It's mother nature. It's all shaded, 100% shaded. This bridge is the border of the two parishes, St. Anne, St. Mary. So once you go on the end of the bridge, you're in St. Anne. So now we are in St. Mary. The government built it for the school because you have kids from St. Anne come to the school right across here. So this school right here is Newstead Primary. So I used to go there. Every day I used to pass this. Right here is where I learned to swim. You see, they're storing the plastic bottle for recycle. They win the plastic bottle competition. They want six lab tap, so that's why they're storing them. Mm -hmm. Who cleans the waterfalls? Well, we as guide, we are the one who clean it. Every morning we have to be here from like seven o'clock in the morning to clean the trails and get the place clean and prepare for the guest that is coming. company to mention that opened only recently is Cool Blue Hall Orcherias. Their unique feature is that unlike everyone else, their entrance is located on the opposite side of the river, where there are currently no vendors and no visitors from other attractions. So the place is not overcrowded yet. They are also just a short walk from the Big Fall, which is a huge plus for those who don't want to hike. The downside for this company is their aggressive marketing strategy online. 
For example, on their website, they tricked visitors by saying that their company is the only one that has an access to waterfalls, which is obviously not true. In fact, the experience has the same pattern as Island Gully Falls, meaning they have no access to any extra waterfalls or lagoons, while these three companies do. I hope they will change the info on their website soon and point out their real advantages instead that were mentioned earlier. So, to sum up, if you want a straight access to the big waterfall without spending time on any extras, go for any of these companies. If apart from that you also want the extras like a natural hike, a garden and eco-friendly feel with domesticated birds around, then go for eco-tours. If your thing is a longer hike or you want to get this local touch of Jamaican organic farm, go for Bridge Farm Blue. And finally, if you are after a lot of activities, a medium hike and want the stunning beauty of the Ring of Falls, go for a regional Blue Hall. Visitors driving by themselves, make sure to check out the link in the description for the exact location of the waterfalls. Also note, as you are approaching the location, you will most likely be stopped by some of the tour guides from either Eco or Bridge Farm. Please do not ignore them, instead, simply tell them the name of the company where you are going and that you want to pay the entrance fees first before getting a guide. If you're coming to the Blue Hall with a private driver as a part of the tour, just tell him or her which experience you prefer the most, and the driver will take you to that particular entrance. If you're looking for reliable drivers from Ocho Rios or Montego Bay, or if you want to book a full day trip with visiting Irie Blue Hall attractions and other awesome locations within the area, I'm giving you the link to the unique excursion that is run by Derek and his team of Jamaica Tourist Board licensed professionals. Please check the description below. Of course, there are many waterfalls around the world. However, there are very few places where you can actually interact with waterfalls in so many different ways and do cliff jumping not only from the cliffs, but from the waterfall itself. Irie Blue Hole is one of those rare places. I would like to thank all the tour guides and management who assisted me in creating this unique episode. And big up the people of Lodge, Thatch Hill and Cascade communities. And of course, special thanks to all our subscribers and all the patrons. Because of you, I was able to bring more cash to pay for services and things at these communities. You can support our project on Patreon from only five US dollars per month. Thank you so much for watching. My name is Irina and I'll see you in the next one. Bye for now.